If you're someone paying to multi-stream or you're about to pay to multi-stream, stop it. Stop it right now, because this is something you can do 100% free in OBS Studio. On this page, you're gonna wanna head over to the right-hand side where it says, go to download. Click that and that'll take you to GitHub. From here, you're gonna see the most recent up-to-date version of the RTMP plugin. You're gonna wanna scroll down just a little bit and you're gonna see a list of assets within this section. From here, you're gonna wanna download the correct asset pertaining to your device or your operating system. For my M1, M2 silicon-based chip Mac users, you guys are gonna wanna download the ARM64 package. And if you're on Intel, you're gonna wanna get the x86 package. In my case, I'm on a Windows computer, so I can go ahead and download the executable file right here and then install this with literally just a click of a button. Once that's complete, you can go ahead and restart your OBS studio. And once you bring it back up, you should see the multiple output dock somewhere within OBS. I recommend putting it somewhere within one of the dock containers, and then you can adjust it with the docks that are around it. First things first, within your normal OBS settings, hop over to the stream tab. And within here, you're gonna wanna make sure that your primary streaming platform is selected within this section. So whether or not you're using a custom or you're using any of the options within the drop down here, make sure that service is all set up and ready to go. Now within my multiple outputs plugin, I'm gonna go ahead and add a new target. We're gonna name this Kick Stream. And then within here, we're gonna wanna add in our URL from Kick in my creator dashboard and stream key section. This is where that Kick information is gonna be. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this information in. I recommend that you continue to take your video and audio encoder settings from OBS, but if you want, you can customize this to your liking if you'd like. Other than that, that's all the information that you need here. Go ahead and select OK, and now we're just gonna start streaming. So we're gonna start streaming on YouTube, and then we're also gonna start streaming on Kick. If you've connected multiple platforms within your multiple outputs plugin here, you can select Start All, or you can select one at a time. I'm gonna go ahead and just select the start to start the kick stream. As you can see, you'll be able to push your stream to multiple platforms at the same time in good quality. But what if I told you there is one more tool that you can use, especially if you're someone that is a vertical streamer, such as a TikTok streamer. Well, the tool I'm referring to is the Atom Vertical plugin. If you're on OBS 29 or later, you can download this plugin completely for free. I also put a link in the description below for this plugin. The installation process is very straightforward with this. The only thing I didn't check off was having a folder on my start screen. I just put that off, but everything else I just flowed through. You'll need to close out of OBS and restart it again. But once you open it back up, you're gonna see all of these new vertical docs added into your OBS application. Two of those those docs are my vertical scenes and my vertical sources. So within one of my vertical scenes, I'm gonna go ahead to the vertical sources doc and select the plus button. And I'm gonna go ahead and add my capture card as a source. You're gonna see that appear within the vertical dock on the right hand side. And I'm gonna take this and just blow it on up. If you have a face cam source, alerts, or any other overlays you wanna add in here, feel free to follow those same exact steps for those sources as well. Once you have your vertical scenes and sources set up the way that you want, go over to your settings, and then you can go to the streaming tab, and this is where you're gonna to wanna to put in that TikTok or your Instagram stream URL and key. Those kind of keys aren't easily accessible to everyone, so if you have them, here's how you can use them. In the advanced section, you can go ahead and just use your main OBS settings, but if you find that those settings are just a bit too high, you can check this off and then put in your own custom settings. So that way you're not over outputting to whichever streaming platform you're trying to push to. I definitely wouldn't go with 50 kilobits per second, but I mean, for something like TikTok, you could definitely get away with something like 2000 to 3000. To go live using your vertical stream, select that green live icon on the left hand side. You also have a record icon here and a backtrack icon. So if something cool happens, you can go ahead and record the last 20 seconds or so of gameplay. And now on top of this, you can go live on your main OBS and then also go live using the multiple outputs plugin. So you now have three different options to go live on multiple social media platforms. Once you're all finished, don't forget to press the stop streaming button on your main OBS and then stop streaming on the multiple output plugin and the vertical. If at any point you get sick and tired of seeing all these freaking docs in your OBS, all you need to do is go to your docs and then start checking off what you don't wanna see anymore. It's clean again. And that's all there is to it. Now, if you're someone out there that just doesn't wanna deal with all the OBS plugins and you just want a solid application that you can multi-stream from for free, check out Prism Live Studio right here. I did a whole breakdown video of how to use it from start to finish. With that, I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.